We got a big problem around here. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on the hunt for the AEW figures once again. You guys can see it is August 14th, Friday, 5.41 a.m. where I am. It is legitimately raining this morning. The sun has not even came up yet. It is a disaster out here. So you guys know this is our third episode of On the Hunt for the AEW figures. You know, I've been checking Brick Seek every single day. A very weird story yesterday. It said that my Walmart, like a mile from my house, had them in stock. They ended up not having them in stock when I got to the store it said out of stock and they didn't have anything they didn't know anything so I, I don't know what the hell's going on it says out of stock right now I'm gonna go to the one out of town that says in stock on Brick Seek. it says it's in stock we're gonna drive an hour away to see if they actually have them they say they're in stock so I'm gonna go about 50 60 miles out of town this morning at 5 40 a.m. to see if they have them if they don't have them I'm gonna be really upset but we're gonna try here together and I guess I'm gonna stop by my local Walmart when I get back in town just to see if they have have them and maybe they will because they said they had them yesterday and then they weren't there and then and now they're out of stock so I don't know if an employee got them I don't know what the hell's going on but we're gonna hit the road today we're gonna go out of town and see if they have the AEW figures at this other Walmart it's storming I gotta drive an hour away but I'm, I'm trying it man we're gonna go for the gold you gotta risk it to get the biscuit let's freaking do it I'll see you guys uh, whenever I see you guys Alright guys, we finally made it. You guys can see here it is 6.53. So it took us about an hour and 10 minutes or so to get here. Camera stuck on the John Brown e-brake. But you guys can see it is still storming, still raining. I can cut these John Brown windshield wipers off for Christ's sake. But we made it. You know, I've never been to this Walmart before. It took us about an hour or so to get here, but I'm hyped. I'm ready to get in here, see if they got it. And I guess I'll let you guys know I'm going to film inside the store. So I'll see you guys when we get in there. Alright guys, we're in here. We are in here. We're gonna find out together if they're gonna have them. I apologize for any shaky camera stuff going on, like we're paranormal activity in this hell or something, but... I don't even know where the toy section is, but... Again, on Brickseek, on Brickseek, man, it says they're in stock. It says they're in stock. We're gonna find out together. I'm kind of worried, but you never know. You know, you never know. We're gonna find out here today. But I'm walking over to the toy section. We'll see what goes on. Got employees walking around. I feel I feel like every Walmart, man, every Walmart is doing like a reset. It's like everywhere you go, look, there's employees, there's boxes. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'll see you guys when we get on the aisle, I guess. All right, guys, moment of truth. Moment of truth here. It's not it's not looking too good. It is not looking too good. What in the hell is going on, man? Uh, nothing. We don't have anything. Nothing here. Just basics. You got Masters of the Universe. I mean, are they are they on a different aisle? I mean, I don't I don't know, man. I've I've seen on other WalMarts where people have found them on different aisles, so I don't know if you know they stuck them in the wrong place. But on Brickseek it says they're in stock. I guess I'm just I'm I have, I have to get an employee or something, man. But that sucks. Uh, ah. Drove 50 miles, man. I hope I hope it's not a wasted trip, man. I really hope it's not a wasted trip. We're going to have to just see, but they got the belts, they got the ring, they got basics, but nothing else. I'm going to go find an employee, I guess, and we'll see what's up. All right, guys, I found a lady employee that was in the makeup section, and I think she's going to check on it for me, so I'm just waiting on her to get back, and we'll see if, you know, they found anything or whatever's up. But I'm just hanging out in the toy aisle waiting to see what she says, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to find out together here. She said this is probably going to come in, but he didn't have any. Okay. And, um, but she said it's probably going to come in. Tonight's the 14th. Today's the 14th. Yes, ma'am. I don't know if it would come in tonight, like for, not, uh, for a restart. Like over 12, 4 in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, after 12. But I checked back. But uh, if they come in, I have them out because they're out. But okay. She said if it wasn't mine up there, she said he didn't have them. She was pretty sure this was happening. Okay. I don't see a box or anything. All right, thank you for your help. You're welcome. You collect them or something? Uh, yes, ma'am. I have like a business oh, that okay. I operate with them, so. I'm actually from Tuscaloosa, so. Oh. I'm going to have to, I guess, drive I'm back. I'm going to ask for gel. Okay. And if you keep that barcode on, he okay. can probably look it up. Okay. So just call so, up here and ask for gel. Jeff and toys. Okay. He's a park manager of toys. Awesome. All right. Thank you for your help. Oh, you're welcome. 
All right, guys. Well, you guys saw the footage. I talked to a lady. I don't know if I put all of the all of the footage in there. I did get some of it on film. I checked the aisle. All they really had was Top Talent Seth Rollins. I checked some basics, but uh, pretty much, I don't know if you guys heard the conversation or not. But pretty much, they don't know if they're going to be in. They have 24 in stock, it says, but they said that they're not in the back. They say that you know they don't have them. They said they're supposed to be in on the 15th. They don't know why they would show up in the system and not be on the floor when they don't have them in stock. But one thing I do want to mention is that when I got here, there was a worker that worked here. That had on a Bullet Club shirt. I don't know, Brad. Kind of fishy, kind of fishy. The woman that I talked to was super duper nice. I'm talking like super nice. She tried her absolute best. She looked for, she looked all over the store for the district manager who could have been the guy in the Bullet Club shirt. I'm not sure. She said that she hadn't seen him today. She also talked to a lot of people that said they hadn't seen him today. So maybe he wasn't even here. But that I could call back tomorrow. But the thing is, as you guys know, I live an hour away. So I don't think that's going to help us, you know? But the lady named Marilyn, super duper helpful. Super duper helpful. Very nice woman. Hats off to her. She did her absolute best but she said i can either call her i can call this walmart get her on the phone and ask them and she'll go check the aisle for me or i can just ask for the district manager or i can drive up here myself which i really don't want to do but i guess i'm gonna hit the road go back home and check my local walmart because yesterday they said they had them in stock and now they're out of stock which makes absolutely no sense unless somebody in the back that works there just got them off the truck and literally just scanned them right when they got off work and then took them all home which would be devastating but it said they were in stock for like 20 minutes and then they just left just like that so i don't no, bro i mean the these figures these figures have just been just crazy man i've never sought after figures this hard you know usually like you have hall of fame elites and you have like a specific series that you're looking for and stuff like that but i think i've sought after these figures harder than any other figures i mean i've, I've made a whole series about it on the channel now and we just can't find them so i guess i'm gonna go back home and i'm gonna hit up my local walmart and see what they got and i don't know man i mean jesus christ this this is just depleting to say the least but anyways thank you so much to maryland again for, for for trying her absolute best to help me but i guess i'm gonna go home now all i grabbed was this diet doozy because we we eat our calories we don't drink them but anyways on the road again all right guys we're here at my other walmart why the hell am i here brad why the hell did i come here they're not gonna have anything okay they're not they're not gonna have a john brown thing brick seek says they have nothing they're not gonna have nothing but what if they did they don't though why am i even here i don't want to go in it's raining outside i don't want to go in the store waste my time walk down the aisle be disappointed like i've been disappointed for the last two weeks now i mean good god in heaven brad <sighs> i'll tell you what I'm going to go in there, and I probably won't even film it because it's going to be the same issue we've seen the last two times. I, I mean, worthless, worthless, worthless. I'm going to get wet, go in there, find nothing, be disappointed, get back in the car, go home, and cry. Got it? All right, we'll see you in there. All right, boys, I just got the update. It's, uh, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. But my friend John just called me, and the AEW figures are at Walmart, so I'm in current pursuit to the to the location. And I'll update you guys when we get there, but I want to give a huge shout-out to John for letting me know. But I literally checked Brickseek this morning, guys, so Brickseek may not always know, man. They may not always know. I got an email. It said changes in your local area, so I checked Brickseek, and I was like, okay, let's see out of stock everywhere so don't don't trust brick seek all the time i felt like for the most part it was pretty you know accurate but i go in there sometimes it says out of stock sometimes it says in stock they didn't have them when it said in stock and apparently they have them when they say out of stock so i, I don't know what the hell's going on but i'll see you guys when we get to walmart and brother we got a big problem around here oh jeez what is it dude you sound just like him hogan is in there can't get up because you're standing right there. <laughs> so I walk by, they think Macho Man's here. Man, that's so a really I good move, impression. I move over. I move over. The door opens. Hold they got Kenny Omega, guys. Out. They got Kenny Omega. They got all of them. They got all of them. Cody Rhodes. We got We got well, another Cody. Look, look at this head sculpt. When the holster stands in front of you. <laughs> and rips his shirt. Wow. Rips his shirt. Kenny Omega. They got a couple Kenny Omegas, to be honest. They got like a lot of them for some reason. <laughs> I bet that was, I bet that was That's okay. a wild story. That's, That's so funny. <laughs> I wish I could have met him. 
Yeah, they got the UFC stuff. Oh, really? They got, like, look, they got the Bucks. They got all of them, man. We finally found them. John with the hookup. We got John with the hookup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely grab some, but Kenny Omega, Cody, UFC figures. The UFC figures don't look that good to me. You got Jericho. You got a couple Jerichos. I'll probably grab this one too. I, I want to grab a full set for and sure, but there's a circle around it. Mm -hmm. And you got the UFC figures, <laughs> got the AEW championship, you got Matt and Nick Jackson, you got Chris you know, Jericho. So I'm standing yeah, we got all of them, man. We got all. We finally found them. John with the hookup, man. So freaking hyped for that. The UFC figures just don't look good to me, to be honest with you. But yeah, you got McGregor. Shut up, lady. I'm having a conversation with my brother. Good God. <laughs> Xbox said that? <laughs> Xbox just yelling in the woman's face? Her favorite wrestler just yelling shut up at her? That's pretty messed up. Well, I'm about to have to go, man. You have a good one. Uh, you too, and thank you for the tip on the uh, Kenny Omega's and stuff. Oh, yes, sir. No problem. You have a good one. Thank you, you out, bro. Yeah, I'm going to get the word. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm gonna, I just randomly happened to come here. Yeah, huge, huge shout out to John. Huge shout out to John. He's got him a good stack. What, uh, what's your name, sir? Gray. Gray? Nice to meet you. I'm Trey. Nice to meet you, too. All right, guys, I finally made it back home after the toy hunt, and it was finally a successful day. You guys could see that was a compilation of a few days there, and I don't know even how I explained everything that took place, but I had a ton of fun. You know, the, it was definitely worth the wait. I mean, my God, man, I feel like we went everywhere for these things, but at the end of the day, I did pick up two Kenny Omegas. I went ahead and grabbed a Chris Jericho. They didn't have any brandies, of course. They didn't have any of the Chase variants, but we also got a set of the Young Bucks. I think I grabbed a full set and I grabbed two Cody's and two Kenny Omega's. I left plenty there. There were so many figures there. You guys saw there were so many figures there, but we got Cody right there. Um, one of these Cody's I think has like a problem with it or actually two of them you guys saw in the store. One of them has like a, a, head, sc a head scan problem and I'm going to use one of these to customize and kind of test the waters on these, see what parts switch, see what kind of stuff we can do, uh, how acetone reacts to them and stuff like that. We're going we're gonna to test that out. I plan on doing a video where we test all that stuff out but uh, there is the second Cody we got two Cody's in there two Kenny's a set of the Young Bucks and we got a Chris Jericho so I'm excited to get in here customize these a little bit I wanted to get a mock set too but I guess I'll just have to wait on that I'm not sure it'll just depend I, I mean I may keep some of these mocks but uh, a lot of those figures at the store had a ton of damage wrong with them so I don't know but um, I'm excited huge shout out to my boy John for hitting me up because he said that they set out of stock I even looked it up myself like I look it up every day at least a few times and every time that I look looked it up it said out of stock and I'm just glad that we finally found them and a huge shout out to him again for uh, making that possible I was just sitting there and he hit me up and uh, they, they had them they had them and uh, that was a fun little experience there at Walmart but anyways guys that is going to do it for the hunt for the AEW figures I plan on doing this in the future as well and uh, we're going to try to do this for series two we're also going to probably try and track down some more series one I guess we'll just have to see but thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the toy hunt let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video Thank you.